everyone, Chris Stoltz coming at you once again from the Muppet Stuff Museum. And today I'm gonna to show you a bunch of recent thrifting finds. First up is this vintage copy of the 1985 Sesame Street yearbook, which is meant to be an activity book that you would fill out throughout the year. Thankfully, the child that owned this did not fill it out, and it is still in brand new and mint condition. The activities include writing about yourself, the activities you and your family do together, a section about when I grow up I want to be, places you visited, and messages to yourself. Another Sesame Street item also from 1985 was this Oscar's Bridge to Reading Book, featuring activities to help kids learn. Oscar's Bridge to Reading Book prepares elementary school children to begin reading in English. Students are taught to identify letters with basic consonant and vowel sounds and to read vocabulary that was first introduced orally in Open Sesame Stage A through a carefully planned readiness approach. The illustrations encourage imaginative thinking and are based on topics particularly suitable for children such as birthdays, toys, and animals. Other components at this level include a teacher's book, an activity book, cassettes, and picture cards. Unfortunately, it didn't have any of that other stuff, just this book, but that's still good enough. The series of books has six stages. Stage A is Big Bird's Yellow Book. This is Stage B, Oscar's Bridge to Reading Book. Stage C is Cookie Monster's Blue Book. Stage D, Prairie Dawn's Purple Book. Stage E, Open Sesame Multi-Level Book, and Stage F, Ernie and Bert's Red Book. Each of these books in Open Sesame can also be used independently. The Open Sesame Picture Dictionary and Open Sesame Picture Cards are available and are appropriate for children at all levels. So here we see Sammy the Snake with a box of socks on Saturday the 16th, some honkers with a noisy nose, a ball on the wall, Farley and Grover in Get the Net, and a poem about a pen. Ten men see a pen. Ten men all want the pen. Can all ten men use one pen? Let's, let's sit on the wall. Let's count the ten black bats. Let's get wet. It's hot. Let's pop the balloon with a pin. Let's run in the sun. Let's take the bug to the lake. Let's pack the tan sack. Let's take a sip. There's a lot happening there. And finally, let's all run to Sesame Street, as well as a page where you can meet the Muppets, including The Count and Harry Monster. I also found some newer Sesame Street books as well, like this cardboard Elmo's World book of music, which features big flaps for little hands. And the flaps seem to be brand new and neither flipped nor flapped. I also found this Plaza Sesamo Offices of Elmo, Quando Crescat Sierra Vetriano, which is actually a puzzle book so you can see a section about animals and then a puzzle of Big Bird and Elmo. Lola and Elmo explain the different parts of a tiger to Bert and Grover. Lola and Elmo explain the different parts of the veterinary office. And Lola, Pancho, Contres, Little Bird, and Elmo talking about the veterinarian's hospital. Wait a minute, veterinarian's hospital? That's from a different Muppet show. We also found this Sesame Street sing-along book, Get Ready for School, which features four music CDs and 80 songs. The CDs include Get Ready for School, Nursery Rhymes with Elmo, Elmo and Friends at the Farm, and Elmo's Favorite Songs. With the pages featuring the lyrics, I was pleasantly surprised to find a whole bunch of Elmo's Adventures in Learning books still brand new and factory sealed, including number 20, Elmo's Colorful Adventure, number 22, What Makes You Giggle, number 23, Imagine That, Number 24, my I and J storybook. Number 25, my O and P storybook. Number 27, when Elmo is big. Number 33, people in your neighborhood. Number 36, colors everywhere. Number 37, storybook ABCs. Number 39, happy and sad, grouchy and glad. Number 40, my Q and R storybook. Number 44, my S and T storybook. Number 45, a visit to Grover's farm. Number 49, a trip to the museum. And number 56, my Y and Z storybook. And because they're still brand new and factory sealed, I learned that each book comes with an activity book as well. I'm not gonna show you each one, but as you can see, there's a lot of them. 
I also found some non-Sesame Street books like these, Muppet Babies books. Here we have Muppet Babies Be Nice, a little golden book, released in 1993. I Can Take a Nap, released in 1994. Muppet Babies Working World, released in 1989. Muppet Babies Weekly Reader books, including Gonzo Saves London Bridge and Baby Piggy's Mermaid Tale, both of which were released in 1986, as well as two versions of Baby Kermit's Christmas. This version has a glossy cover and features an image of the Muppet Press logo on the back, while this one is in even mintier condition and still has its original dust jacket, while the outside dust jacket doesn't feature the Muppet Press logo, the book itself does, which I guess makes these both exactly the same, one's just extra minty. A 2004 Ben Don re-release of the Muppet Babies book Sleepy Time Ship and a bunch of Muppet Kids books. So here we have the hardcover versions of Piggy Can't Wait, a book about patience, Too Many Promises, a book about saying no, and TV or Not TV, a book about moderation, all released by Grolier in 1996 and are reprints of previous Muppet Kids books, released by Muppet Press in the late 80s. So here we have the paperback version of TV or Not TV and Picky Gets the Jitters, both of which I already had in my collection, but I was so shocked to see these so minty at such a low price, I had to pick them up anyway. As you can see, they still have their original price tags on them. You never know what you're gonna find in used books, and inside a title I already had, I found this great Sesame Street book plate. Unfortunately, it already has a name in it, but it's very rare to see these out in the wild. So even though I had the book already, I picked it up just for this nameplate. As you can see, it features Cookie Monster, Big Bird, Grover, Bert, and Ernie, the Count and Oscar, and the book that I pulled it from originally belonged to Kelly C. Croce. Okay, but it wasn't all just books. I found some other great stuff as well, including these DVD copies of Sesame Street Beginnings. Here we have Beginning Together and Moving Together, released by Sony Wonder in 2006. This Sesame Street C is for Cookie cassette tape put out by Sony Wonder in 1995, which includes the songs C is for Cookie, The Last Cookie Roundup, Circles, if I Knew You Were Coming, I'd Have Baked a Cake, The Ballad of Casey McPhee, If Moon Was Cookie, Goodbye Little Cookie, Breakfast Time, Mmm -mm -mm, Monster Meal, Handful of Crumbs, Up and Down, Gingerbread Man, Healthy Food, and Gotta Be Blue. I also picked up this vintage Sesame Street Ice Follies button featuring an illustration of Bert and Ernie, which was originally only available at the Ice Follies show in 1974. And finally, a major thrifting find was this copy of The Black Stallion Returns. Wait, that can't be right. That's not a Muppet book. Oh, because it came with the Dark Crystal read-along book as well. Yes, these were actually a two-pack. You could originally buy these packaged together, and it came with its tape as well. And yes, on side A is the Dark Crystal, and side B is the Black Stallion Returns. So... For some reason, they package these together. I'm not quite sure why. Obviously, it would have been better if it had a, another Henson-related title, but since Disney put this out, they put one of their titles in with it as well. So, okay, Disney, for whatever reason, decided to put the Black Stallion Returns along with the Dark Crystal. So it is what it is. As you can see, it's not sealed, but it's still a great find. The Dark Crystal book features story, music, and photos from the original motion picture. This is the story of the Dark Crystal. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it's time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring. Other books in this series included Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Droid World, Planet of the Hujibs, Return of the Jedi, E.T., The Black Stallion, The Black Stallion Returns, and The Ewoks Join the Fight. Which you can see were mostly Star Wars titles, which Disney wouldn't own outright for another 20 plus years. Well, that's good to do it for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe Please leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite item from this video was. Please be sure to follow us on all our social media channels and I'll see you next time from the Muppet Stuff Museum. Wait, that can't be right. That's not a Muppet book.